This is the Hamilton Beach Juicer. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it together. I'm gonna show you a quick trick I use that makes cleaning so much easier. And I'm also gonna show you how I make some juice in here. So, putting it together, very simple. Just a few pieces here. You've got the blades and stuff. That pops right in this piece here where the juice comes out. So I'm gonna pop that on first, then this back bucket that's gonna catch all of your, um, everything that's not juice, the fibers and whatnot. That slides on the back. You know what, actually I think I put that on first, but then this sort of holds that in place. And then the top part here, along with the press, just slides in. Once you've got that together, you're just gonna clamp it down, lock it in place. It does have to be locked before the juicer will work. And then my little trick that I almost forgot, I put a grocery bag right in here before I start juicing. And that way all the pulp and the fibers and stuff, I can just lift this out and toss it right into the trash. So it makes cleaning a lot easier. Okay, and then you're gonna need a mason jar or you could use a measuring cup. You could use a regular cup, whatever you prefer. But normally I just put a mason jar right there. Not a ton of prep work. I just try to leave as much of the pith as possible. I remove the peel, but that has a lot of benefits. Pop that in there and turn this on. I will say it's a little bit loud, but I'll show you how it works. <laughs> oranges in there. I'm also going to put some ginger in. I just scrub this really well before I put it in. Add a lemon in here and then a few carrots. And you don't have to turn it off every time you want to add more stuff in. I just didn't have everything prepared. <laughs> that beautiful fresh juice cleanup again is very easy you just disassemble I just wipe this in the trash and then rinse that off with some soap and water and then this is honestly the only time-consuming part it comes with a scrub brush it's not this exact one but one that looks like that and I just scrub that underwater both sides and let it dry and then store it in my pantry. How easy is that?